guys. Uh, I'm Josh, and uh, I'm the lead for the uh, Experiment 4 jet engine. All right, so a little bit of the background for the jet engine. It basically consists of like two turbines. So the first part is the jet engine, and the jet engine is operated like it intakes air to the compressor, and then the next stage it adds a little bit of fuel. The fuel for this one, I think, is kerosene. And then that leads to the combustion chamber, and then it combusts. And from that, a thrust is created that moves the power turbine, and then it exits out. But it doesn't just exit out into you know ambient air, it exits out into the gas turbine. And from the gas turbine, it takes a thrust output and put, makes that an input to turn another turbine, and that creates shaft work that leads to an alternator and produces power. That's kind of easy. All right, so obviously the top, that's like the main diagram of the system we, uh, we're going to be using. And the main cycle, like, you know, the other Josh said, is the braiding cycle. Uh, it's isotropic compression, then it's heat addition, then isotropic expansion, and then it's heat out. All right, so the first part of the uh, entire uh, method you started this out of the 40 pages I had to read was the pre start. <laughs> um, so, the pre start, it's basically just like, okay, don't start it until you know everything's fully functional. So, it's basically like checking every part, make sure everything's in operating order. It was a lot just like, hey, check this small screw and see if it's clean enough, see if it's shining like a shoe. Um, it's basically making sure everything's operable. You need to check the fuel, see if it's at you know, proper capacity. Uh, and then you gotta start the DAC assist to make sure it can actually read. So you basically check it for the whole jet engine, which I know I think like two weeks ago it was kind of like busted for one, and then Rich had to fix it. So it's basically that whole thing, making sure it uh, can operate fine because it's kind of a dangerous machine. And then you're gonna start the computer to read some, uh, to just make sure it can just read the data. All right, the next part is the start operation shutdown. So this is where you actually, you know, start it by pressing the big green button. You basically verify the engine and uh, generator at the correct RPM. There's a bunch of like constraints, like uh, I know on another slide it shows like the max RPM, the min RPM that operates. And if it's past or lower than that, then something's probably wrong. Um, after you verify everything's correct, you press the green button to start wait for the engine to start up. The, it's supposed to have like a small startup sequence, like I think the manual said, it's between 15 and 25 seconds, because it takes a little bit. And if it doesn't start up immediately, that means something's wrong. So if something's wrong, troubleshoot, or get chewed out by Richard, so. <laughs> uh, then you stop the engine by using the red button, obviously like, you know. And then you verify the engine sequence 